Hello and welcome to a look at the action from the 2022 All Japan Open Weight Judo Championships. We'll start with one of the big stars, or should I say the smallest star from the tournament, the Olympic champion, the world champion, now he's the Takato, he's up against an opponent that outweighed him by 30 kilos, got slammed with an uranage, and it wasn't long until his opponent transitioned to Juji Gatame. So this was a pretty good day for the bigger players. Only one player under 100 kilos made it through to the final of the event. And a new star has emerged. So the new star is a 20-year-old weighing 160 kilos. He's the son of a two-time Olympic super heavyweight judo champion. I'm not going to say any more for now because I don't want to spoil it for you. But if you do know your Japanese judo, perhaps you're saying that I've spoiled it for you already. Maybe I'll have to put a little spoiler alert up on the screen. <laughs> Kohara with that beautiful Tomoanage blocking the opponent's leg with his elbow was one of the stars making it through to the best eight and the smallest man to do so. I am going to have a video out on Sunday or Tuesday depending on how busy my life is over the next two days and that video is going to be about chokes so subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza so here is Tatsuru Saito with a beautiful Uchimata, a bit of you show me your Uchimata, then I'll show you mine. Takeshi Ojitani, 145 kilos, able to transition to an Udegarami from the top position to win by submission. Big Kosodogari by Sasaki. I'm not actually sure of his first name. You can leave a comment if you know his name. He's Hisayoshi Harasawa. He was the representative at the Tokyo Olympics for Japan. I believe he lost to Rinne. Now Daigo Kagawa. Subscribe for more non-stop Nuaza or non-stop chokes on Sunday or Tuesday. Here's Hyoga Ota. Ota was the winner of the 2021 championships, which was held on Christmas Day, I believe. And he had another good showing here. I believe he made it through to the semi-final before bowing out. Yusei Ogawa also doing well in this tournament. I believe he also made it to the semi-final before bowing out against uh, Kokoro Kagaura. Now here is Kagaura, Uki Otoshi transitioning to Katagatame. Here's Kagaura again beating Kohara. That was the quarterfinal match. And Kagaura did make it through to the final. So I'll let you in on the spoiler now. So the winner of this event was Tatsuru Saito. Here he is in his quarterfinal match. Tatsuru Saito, 160 kilos, but he has plenty of stamina. Both of his semi-final and final matches were very long. The final was about 12 minutes long. The semi-final, I think, was about 10 minutes long. In those two matches, he received a total of one Shido. So he was attacking constantly. Very impressive for such a big man. He stays injury free. It's going to be a huge threat at the World Championships, which I'm sure he's going to be selected for. Kagaura will most likely be sent to the Asian Games or perhaps be chosen as the super heavyweight representative at the World Team Championships. It's likely that the Japan Judo Federation will make an announcement in the next couple of days. Subscribe for more non-stop Nawaza or non-stop chokes on Sunday or Tuesday.
大野翔平にとっては3回目の全日本選手権でした初戦前田に